And finally, let's see how we can actually take our pictures in Adobe Bridge and create a web photo gallery. I've changed my workspace to output and on the right hand side here in my output panel, you can see we have the option for PDF or web gallery. I'm going to go ahead and resize that panel so we get a better view of it. And PDF can be used to create contact sheets or layouts of your different images in a very quick and easy manner and you can select what information you want to display with your images. So let me pick just a couple images here. I'm going to click refresh preview in the output panel. And what's nice about this is that they will actually show us a preview of the PDF file in our preview window now so we can see what the PDF file would look like. In this case I selected four images and it was a two by two template and it also displays the name of the file name. So that's very handy. Let me go ahead and go back to my preview dialog box and we're going to change our output to web gallery. Now you'll notice in the web gallery output we do have some templates that we can choose from. I'll click on that drop down arrow and we'll look at a couple of these. Standard uses Flash when it's published so you need to make sure you're publishing for a Flash compatible device otherwise you'll get an error saying you have to install Flash and you'll notice here our preview will actually be in a browser rather than in our preview pane on the left hand side. In previous versions of Bridge we've been able to preview it in a preview pane without actually having to go to the browser. Below that we have a section for um, site info. So here we can actually create a name and we can add captions and we can give a description about the gallery. In addition we can add contact information and further down we can change the color scheme of our template. As we go further down you'll see what's going to happen is Bridge is going to create a thumbnail of our image and it's going to create the gallery image. So you're actually going to have more than one image created. It's going to take our files and convert them to different sizes. And here in this template we also have a slideshow. And you'll see here it says the duration for the slides will be five seconds and there's a transition effect. So you have a couple that you can choose from. And down here at the bottom you can actually publish your web gallery to a server if you have that information. And then at the bottom we can click save or we can click upload. And if we choose upload we'd have to have this bottom part here for the create gallery. We'd have to have our FTP server defined and a username and password entered. Okay, let's go ahead and select some of our images. And if you recall we did make some changes. So I'm going to select the ones with the changes. So I'm just holding down my command key and I'm clicking. Hold down control on Windows and you can see they're all popping up in my preview panel as part of my selection. Now over here in my output panel I'm going to click on preview and browser and I'm just using our standard template and I'm using a medium thumbnail. Our other option is to change it to a small thumbnail. And now what Adobe Bridge has done is it has created a web page for me and it's named index and here I've got thumbnail views of my pictures and we can see them pop up on the right hand side here. Oops I picked the wagon that I didn't want. Here's that image that we cropped and down here you can also click play and you have your slideshow and remember I believe it was set for five seconds and it'll just fade through our various images. And if we had added any information like on the top right corner there our contact name then we would see our contact name. We can also click over here if we'd had more than one web gallery created and we can change our view to slideshow and we can click through it. We can go back to our other view mode. So again up here on the top left we've got view, gallery and slideshow and then about this gallery this would display that information from our panel that we had the option to include. So that's not bad. It's a quick way to create a website, very easy way to throw all your images together and quickly create a web gallery. Let me go ahead and close that and return to Bridge. And let's take a look at another template. Here we have an HTML gallery and our style would be Lightroom. And again we have the options 
for our gallery name, our save location, and all the FTP information and so forth. And if I scroll up, I can choose to show my file names or not. I can show the extension. So if I had gone through and renamed all my images using my batch rename command, I could very easily then do show file names and they'd make a little bit more sense. And obviously the images here are used, the names are from the picture when it was taken with the camera. And here we can change our color palette. We can click on our text color, pick a new color. We can change the background color. Again, just click on your color picker and choose a new color. And you could continue to go through these. And up here, we can send in our email address and our copyright information. And again, I'm going to click Preview in Browser. And Bridge goes through the publishing process. You can see those colors weren't the best ones to choose. But here we go. We can scroll down. And we see we have another page. So this is all in HTML. And now let's just take a look at one more. Let's go ahead and take a look at Filmstrip. We'll go ahead and leave everything at its default. Down here at the bottom I can choose Save. I can go ahead and browse for a location. Let me go ahead and choose my Chapter 9 Projects folder. And my gallery name is up here at the top and I just can click save at this point and what will happen is that Adobe Bridge will actually create all the variations of the images that I need for the different sizes. So now let me go back over to chapter 9. Here's a folder now that says Adobe Web Gallery. Inside my web gallery we see a resource folder and now you'll see all the files necessary to make it work. Here are my images and it's made three different versions of my images To be different sizes. So here's my thumbnail size, real tiny, medium, and large. Let me go back up to the outside folder, the Adobe Web Gallery. Let me double click on index, and here's what it's created. This is our slideshow view. So I can switch my view mode. I can click play, I can go back to the other view, and I can just click through my different pictures down here at the bottom. So again, you can in Bridge, in your output panel, you can customize your color schemes and you can go in and add names for your document, your gallery title, photographs. Just keep in mind that when you build this, the HTML page, the initial page that's going to be used as your starter page is going to be named index automatically. So you want to put this in a subfolder if you are putting it as part of a web page. If you change the name of the file, it will not necessarily work with your other documents and images that have been created because the word index is part of the reference. So you could go into Adobe Dreamweaver and actually clean this up if you didn't want to use the word index as the name of your page. But obviously you can, again, just put this into a subfolder on your website and then point to index inside that subfolder. We've learned a lot in this Essential Photoshop series, and I hope you've had some fun along the way. For more great training, visit TotalTraining.com. You can also find my books on Amazon and for education purchases at Cengage Learning. For Total Training, I'm Debbie Keller. Thanks for watching.